The tension surrounding the U.S.-China semiconductor war deepens as both nations find themselves locked in a battle for technological supremacy. What was initially a series of sanctions intended to cripple China's rising tech sector has escalated into an all-out technological arms race, one that could redefine global power structures in ways we can only begin to imagine. Every move by China is met with fierce opposition from the West, but, in a stunning twist, China's ability to adapt, innovate, and drive forward its semiconductor ambitions may prove to be its greatest strength. The foundations of this war are rooted in fear. Fear that China's growing capabilities in the tech sector could jeopardize U.S. dominance on the global stage. By controlling critical semiconductor technology, China could potentially outpace the United States in military development, cyber warfare, and even artificial intelligence. The U.S. government, under the guise of national security, had hoped that by choking China's access to these technologies, it could halt or even reverse the country's rise. But what the United States underestimated was the relentless ingenuity of Chinese tech firms and the massive government backing that would propel them into uncharted territory. In a striking display of resilience, China began to invest heavily in its own semiconductor ecosystem, redirecting its resources to the creation of self-sustaining, homegrown solutions. China's response to these sanctions wasn't one of retreat, it was a call to arms. Government-backed initiatives such as Made in China 2025 and unprecedented levels of funding poured into domestic companies like SMIC and YMTC. The ambition was clear. China was determined to no longer rely on the US or its allies for the crucial components that powered its technological machine. This bold push has led to a sharp decrease in China's dependence on foreign semiconductor imports but the effects have rippled far beyond China's borders. It's not just the numbers that are stunning, it's the sheer pace of China's transformation. Just two years ago, China's dependence on foreign chips seemed insurmountable, with the country importing over $400 billion worth of semiconductors annually. Yet by the end of 2023, that number had plunged by nearly 50%, signaling a shift that was as much about economic strategy as it was about national pride. The domestic production of semiconductors, powered by aggressive state-led initiatives, surged ahead at breakneck speed. This wasn't just about manufacturing chips. It was about reshaping the future of China's technology sector, securing independence, and positioning the country as an emerging global leader. The consequences of this rapid acceleration are becoming undeniable. As Chinese companies rapidly expand their capabilities, they begin to develop semiconductors that can compete with, and even surpass, their Western counterparts. SMIC's production of advanced 7 nanometer chips, long considered the realm of companies like Intel and TSMC, is a direct challenge to the established semiconductor order. But it doesn't stop there. Companies like YMTC are pushing the boundaries in memory technology, developing 232 layer NAND flash memory that is poised to revolutionize data storage and consumer electronics. As these innovations roll out, the West finds itself forced to confront an uncomfortable truth. China's technological resilience is not only surviving, it's thriving. The impact on the global market is already being felt. Intel, Texas Instruments, and other key players in the U.S. semiconductor industry have seen their revenues take a sharp dive as China increasingly relies on its own domestic suppliers. Intel's Q3 2023 earnings revealed a 27% drop in sales to China, and Texas Instruments reported a staggering $2.3 billion shortfall. For these companies, the loss of access to the Chinese market represents an existential threat. After all, China is the world's largest semiconductor consumer, responsible for a staggering 38% of global chip demand. As Chinese firms increase production and solidify their position in the global supply chain, U.S. companies are being squeezed out of an increasingly important market. But the economic ramifications don't end there. China's rise in semiconductor manufacturing has begun to shift the center of gravity in global production. By 2023, China's share of global semiconductor manufacturing had nearly doubled, from 15% to 30%. This rapid expansion, fueled by government subsidies and strategic international partnerships, directly challenges the hegemony of established semiconductor powerhouses like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. The question now is whether the West will be able to adapt to this new reality, or whether it will find itself permanently sidelined in the battle for technological supremacy. The expansion of China's semiconductor capabilities is not limited to just the realm of manufacturing. Chinese-made chips have already begun to power critical infrastructure. Everything from data centers to AI platforms and telecommunications networks. In fact, by 2023, reports revealed that more than 60% of China's cloud computing infrastructure was powered by domestically produced chips. 
This is not just a matter of economic strategy. It's a strategic move to secure China's technological independence. By using its own chips, China not only reduces its reliance on foreign suppliers, but also strengthens the resilience of its critical technological infrastructure. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is left grappling with the far-reaching implications of this shift. For the global consumer, this means more affordable electronics, as the cost of devices powered by domestic Chinese chips begins to stabilize. But for markets dependent on imports from China, these changes are likely to create a host of challenges, including potential shortages and price hikes. The rise of Chinese chip makers is shifting not only production dynamics, but also the global narrative surrounding technological innovation. SMIC's ability to mass produce 7 nanometer chips, despite US export restrictions, is a striking testament to China's growing technological prowess. Similarly, YMTC's breakthrough in NAND flash memory is setting new standards for consumer electronics, with China now a global leader in high capacity storage. In both cases, China is no longer merely catching up. It is leapfrogging ahead, setting new benchmarks that are forcing the global tech community to reconsider the established order. The question is no longer whether China will dominate the semiconductor market. It's now a question of when and how the global industry will respond to this new reality. As China's self-sufficiency in semiconductor production continues to evolve, the geopolitical ramifications are profound. The US and its allies face the prospect of losing their technological edge, with China increasingly able to compete on equal footing, if not surpass, in critical areas like AI, defense technologies, and industrial automation. For the US, the question now is not just how to contain China's growth, but how to reclaim its own position as the global leader in semiconductor innovation. The US has responded by ramping up its own domestic initiatives, offering subsidies to semiconductor manufacturers, strengthening alliances with countries like South Korea, and encouraging private sector research and development. But the question remains, will these measures be enough to hold off China's relentless march towards self-sufficiency? China's technological advances in semiconductors have already shifted the balance of power in global supply chains, and the ability to mass-produce advanced chips has strengthened China's bargaining position on the global stage. As China continues to flex its muscles, wielding its considerable purchasing power, suppliers around the world are finding themselves caught between the demands of adhering to U.S. sanctions and the economic imperative of engaging with China's enormous market. The situation has forced companies like ASML and Applied Materials, key players in the semiconductor supply chain, to walk a tightrope, attempting to comply with U.S. restrictions while maintaining profitable relationships with China. What happens when China's economic clout gives it the power to rewrite the very rules of global trade? China's advancements in memory technology, particularly in NAND flash memory, have positioned the country as a dominant force in data storage solutions, essential for industries driven by big data and AI. YMTC's development of 232-layer NAND flash memory has pushed China to the forefront of high-capacity storage, leaving established companies like Micron and Western Digital struggling to keep pace. This breakthrough has raised the prospect of memory innovation shifting from Silicon Valley to Shenzhen, and the implications are nothing short of seismic. At the core of this semiconductor conflict lies a fundamental question. How will the global order shift as China secures its technological independence? By achieving self-sufficiency, China not only fortifies its position against future sanctions, but also gains leverage in diplomatic negotiations. Experts are already speculating that China's rise in semiconductor technology could lead to a realignment of geopolitical alliances, with countries increasingly willing to engage with China on their own terms. For the US, the stakes are higher than ever. Can it retain its technological dominance, or will China's march towards self-reliance create an entirely new global order? The U.S.-China semiconductor conflict is a complex, multifaceted struggle, one that goes beyond economic competition and touches on broader issues of national security, technological power, and global influence. The unintended consequences of the sanctions, once seen as a tool to curb China's rise, have instead created an environment where both sides are forced to innovate faster, adapt quicker, and fight harder to maintain their standing in the global tech ecosystem. This is not just a battle for market share. It's a high-stakes geopolitical conflict that will shape the future of global power. As the world watches, one thing is certain. The semiconductor war is far from over. The question is, who will emerge victorious? And what will the future of global tech look like when the dust finally settles? The stakes are higher than ever, and the consequences are profound.